morning. This is uh, Brother Paul coming to you via webcam on my little computer here. Uh, video, video quality is not too good on this, but anyways, uh, I've been wanting to do this video vlogging, trying to keep it up. Uh, kind of talking about my fitness goals and just uh, sharing stuff in general. It just uh, using this because my phone does not have enough space to take videos. Uh, nor does my iPad. Anyways, pardon the expression. I'm watching myself and I just kind of seeing how it looks if I've done that. But anyways, uh, update on my working out. I've uh, made another workout tonight. I worked out Sunday night. I worked out tonight. Uh, done a couple of sets of negative reps and bench presses, uh, curls, chest presses, butterflies, crunches. Leg lifts, do different, just those things. And uh, it's after working nearly 12 hours of Cracker Barrel waiting tables. Very, very tough shift today. Very busy. Thank God for the for the business and be able to do the business. My body was shot. And I, I was so tired that just uh, carrying the weights at the, at the uh, gym to set up the exercises was a workout in itself. So. Don't know what I accomplished, but I feel like I'm burning off a few calories, maybe uh, build a little muscle, I don't know. Maybe it was a little fat, I'm still working on this. Anyways, uh, just an update on that. Uh, hope y'all having a blast then. I don't know how many subscribers I've got. I'm looking for subscribers, followers, uh, looking for that big video that's going to go viral and uh, make me the YouTube sensation. Uh, but I'm not a sensational guy, so I don't know how that's going to work out. But uh, just a uh, few comments on uh, what's going on in our nation. Uh, watching Donald Trump tonight talking on Tan Sean Hannity. And I like his ideas. He seems like he's wanting to make America not just great again, but a little safer. Uh, we have some radicals that's trying to kill us. Uh, radical sect of radical Islam. You know, there's always been crazy people doing crazy stuff, but this uh, radical Islam movement, uh, it's, uh, it's, I think it's unprecedented. It's something we've not seen. It's a, a war that's been waged within our own uh, abroad and within our own borders. It's people have been recruited across the internet and uh, you know, it seemed like our current administration and perhaps his Secretary of State uh, don't seem to really realize uh, what we're up against. They want to downplay it. They don't want, they don't want to uh, recognize the Islamic aspect of it. And uh, I think we need to not bashing Muslims, but it is a sect of Islam. If it was a sect of Christians doing it, uh, then I would expect they would have recognize it as a sect of Christians doing it. Not all Christians do it. But uh, they would probably demonize Christianity. Hey, they already demonize Christians just because we uh, stand up for what we believe in. Because we believe what the Bible says. We believe in morals. The Bible states about certain issues and uh, we're already demonized for that. Do you imagine who was killing people? Well, they just probably wipe us all out. But that being what it is, uh, I think we need to recognize the enemy and I, you know, it's, uh, this may sound kind of harsh, but I'm starting to agree with, with Mr. Trump on uh, not letting any more Muslims or come into the country till we can straighten it out. Like I was telling a friend of mine, a guest of mine at work the other day that the, the Muslims here in America need to decide who they're with. Are they with their radical friends or are they with America? If they're with America, they need to do what they can. And if they know anything going on in their mosque, they know radicals are coming up, then they need to, uh, radicals talking about plans because they're killing people, then they need to speak up. But the FBI know. Either with us or against us. And you know, 
that Americans need to really watch in this election. Do, who do we want to vote for? Do we want to vote for somebody that's going to try to keep us safe, that realizes the end uh, who we're against, or we're going to vote for somebody that uh, might allow more of them to come into the country? Uh, so I, I'd, I'd say vote for Mr. Trump. That's who I'm going to. I'll go with. But you take who you want. You just remember if. Uh, what am I going to say? Well, maybe, you know, heaven forbid that one day that radical Islam would take over our country. But if we, uh, that was to happen, know this, my liberal friends, they would just soon chop off your head as they would my head. I'm a ultra conservative, born again Christian, very conservative. But make no mistake, they would enjoy beheading you or whatever, killing you as much as they would me. I, I, believe, I really believe they would, because you know they don't believe in, they don't stand up, they don't believe in, in Christians. They don't, they don't, they want us to convert to their ways, but they don't believe in what to learn what. But some on the left do either. They won't hold with that either. So, so you can stand up for them, stick up for them, whatever you know. But if it comes down to it, I think they would enjoy killing you as much as they would me. So anyways, that's all I'm going to say tonight. Have a good night, and God bless.